Keyvokers. What up, guys? This is Keyvokers. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today we're going to be focusing on the Disney Classics Collection, Lion King and Aladdin. Specifically, we're going to be working on all of the Aladdin achievements. 850 points out of the 1000 gamer score is for Aladdin. Lion King only has 150 gamer score. So we're going to go ahead and knock out the full 850 gamer score for Aladdin. Should take you about 30 minutes. We can use the watch feature in this game to get most of the achievements. However, the watch feature will not work for the difficulty related achievements. For instance, it will not work for beating Aladdin on easy or difficult difficulty. At first I was thinking we were going to have to play through a minimum of two playthroughs on each of these games because of that. However, I tried inputting the Sega Genesis cheat codes in and they actually work. So we're going to be able to use level select and level advance cheats to go ahead and get those difficulty related achievements nice and easy. First we're going to knock out the achievement for completing the trade show demo. So go ahead and start up the trade show demo and you want to select watch mode. Next we are going to use the fast forward feature until we get to 8 minutes and 28 seconds. Then you are going to press select and start playing. Once you have at least moved a little bit you are going to press start and quit game and you want to quit and save. We are basically tricking the game into thinking we actually played it. Our next step is to press continue and this is going to continue where we left off in watch mode. So now we are at the end of the trade show demo and we just need to beat the boss here at the end which is nice and easy. All you need to do is jump up to the last step and just swing your sword a couple times and eventually he'll die and your achievement or trophy should pop. Easy 75 gamer points. Perfect. So now we want to switch to the final cut version of the game. We're going to press watch. For the first achievement, we are going to be going for the monkeying around achievement or trophy. This is for successfully completing Abu's bonus round in Agrabah. For this one, I recommend stopping the clock at 6 minutes and 4 seconds. Next, press select and press start playing. Make sure you move around a little bit. Press start, quit. Make sure you quit and save. It's going to send you back to the menu. We're going to press continue. And that's going to put us back in the game right at the end of the bonus round. Your achievement should pop for 150 gamer score. On to the next one. We are going to head back to the main menu and start up watch mode once again. This time we're going for the everything's on sale achievement. This is actually the only secret achievement in the game. This achievement is for finding the peddler on the Agrabah rooftops. He is kind of hidden. You just need to make sure that you fast forward until 11 minutes and 16 seconds. Next, just take a step or two, and then we're going to press start. We're going to quit game. Make sure that you quit and save. That's going to send you back to the menu, and we are going to continue the game. And that's going to send us back where we left off. Now we need to throw an apple at this smoking pot right here. That's going to drop down the floor, and we'll be able to drop down. We're going to head over to the right-hand side, and the peddler is going to whip out his secret shop. This is going to net us a secret achievement. That is for 50 gamer score, everything's on sale. Perfect, so now we can go ahead and quit and go back to the main menu and we are going to work on our next achievement. Our next achievement or trophy is for defeating the first boss, that's Razul. All we need to do is fast forward until 14 minutes and 13 seconds. This puts you about right before the last hit in the boss fight. Once we get the time right, we're going to press select and start playing. Just make sure you take a step or two, press start, quit game, quit and save. We're going to go back to the menu and continue the game once again. Like I said, the boss should be on his last hit, so just make sure that you jump up and throw an apple, and that should pop your achievement. This one is for 50 gamer score. That's for defeating Razul in the Agrabah rooftops. Alright, another achievement. Go back to watch mode. This next achievement is for defeating the Shiva monkey in the Cave of Wonders. This is the second boss battle. We need to fast forward until 22 minutes and 52 seconds. At that point we're just going to go ahead and press select and start playing. Make sure you take a step, start, quit game, quit and save. This is going to send us back to the menu. You're going to press continue once again. This is going to put us back in the boss battle 
And all you need to do is walk up to the Shiva monkey boss and swing your sword a couple times and eventually you will beat the boss. This achievement or trophy is going to pop right after you beat the boss. You do not need to finish the level for this one. So once your achievement or trophy has popped, you can go ahead and press start, go back to the main menu, and we're going to start up watch mode once again. The next achievement we're going for is earning your bonus. This is for 150 gamer score. This is for completing Abu's second bonus round. This is at the end of the Cave of Wonders. For this one, I recommend fast forwarding until about 24 minutes and 43 seconds. Once again, press select. We're going to start playing. Make sure you take a step. Press start, quit your game, save and quit. We're going to head back to the menu and then we're going to press continue to start off where we left off. This is right at the end of the bonus round. Man, I'm telling you right now, these achievements would be pretty hard to do these uh, bonus rounds with the boo if you weren't able to do this watch mode method. Next, we are going for the spooky encounters achievement. This is for defeating uh, Yago in the boss battle. For this one, we want to fast forward until 36 minutes and 20 seconds. That should put you right at the end of the boss battle. Press select, start playing, make sure you move, press start, quit and save. Go back to the main menu and we are going to continue once again. We should only need to hit the boss once or twice. Just go ahead and throw an apple or two at him and then you should beat him nice and easy. There we go. That's another achievement for 50 gamer score. That's for defeating the third boss. Hang in guys, we're almost there. We just need to defeat Jafar. So for this last one, we are going to fast forward until 41 minutes and 45 seconds. This should put you at the end of the boss battle with Jafar. Press select and start playing. Make sure you take a step. Press start, quit game. Make sure you save and quit. We're going to go back to the menu and we're going to go ahead and continue where we left off. You should be able to just jump up on the platform, just start throwing some apples, and then you should defeat him. That's another achievement for 50 gamer score. And then finally, you are also going to get an achievement for 75 gamer score for beating Aladdin, the final cut version. Alright, guys, we only have three Aladdin achievements left. This is for beating the original version of Aladdin on easy original and difficult difficulty. We can actually get the uh, achievement for the normal difficulty by doing the watch method. However, it is not going to work for the easy and hard difficulties. Same for Lion King. So for now, we can go ahead and go into watch mode and we are going to fast forward all the way until 39 minutes and 26 seconds. Once you have the time right, you can go ahead and press select. We're going to start playing. Just make sure that you take a step, then you can go ahead and press uh, select, and this time we are going to quit the game, save and quit, it's going to send you back to the main menu once again, we're going to press continue, and that is going to send us to the end of the game, just make sure that you throw a couple apples at Jafar and defeat him once again, once you defeat him, your achievement should pop um, at the end credits, uh, once it starts the whole new world song, right here. There we go. That's another achievement for 50 gamer score. Just a normal day. That's for beating Aladdin on the normal difficulty. Okay, so next let's get the achievement for beating Aladdin on the hardest difficulty. So what we're going to do is start up the regular game, the S version, which is the Sega Genesis version. Once you get to the main menu, make sure that you go into the settings and change the difficulty to difficult. This is the hardest difficulty available. Now for this achievement, we are going to be using cheats from back in the day on the Sega Genesis. These actually still work in this version of the game. So what you can do is, during any level, you can go ahead and press start. This is the actual start button, not the select button. The start button freezes the game, like old school pause. You'll see everything freeze when you press it. So once the game is paused, you're going to enter the following cheat code. It is X A A X, X, A, A, X. This cheat automatically finishes the level. So all you need to do is input that cheat on each level and it'll advance you through the whole game. That is an easy way to get the achievement for the hardest difficulty. After we're done doing that, we're going to start up the game again on the easiest difficulty 
and then we are going to input the cheat on each level and then once we have that completed we will have the achievement for beating the game on the easiest difficulty and we will have all the Aladdin achievements unlocked in this game for a total of 850 gamer score. Make sure you keep an eye out for my next video on how to get the Lion King related achievements in the game. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.